Hey everyone, so it's Hearth and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we are going to be doing a Samhain altar setup video. Now if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you will know that every single Sabbat I do a Sabbat altar setup video. Now this is going to be the one for my Samhain altar, but there are just a couple of things I want to mention before we get started. First is that if you guys have seen these videos before, you will know that they are mostly time lapse and I do have some music over the top and I do get a lot of questions about the music so if you guys want to know where the music came from I will link everything down in the description box so that you guys can check it out for yourself. Second is that this altar is not going to be quite like a lot of the other altars that I've done mainly because Halloween is my favourite season of the entire year and so my Samhain altar sort of part Samhain part Halloween and that doesn't change how I feel about the Sabbath itself I still think it's a wonderful sacred time of year but I don't want to negate the fact that there are going to be pieces on the altar that would typically be considered more Halloween than Samhain. So I just want to let you guys know that although this isn't the most traditional Samhain altar, it is Samhain to me and this tends to be how all of my Samhain altars end up looking like. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will just let the time lapse begin.
Okay, so this is the finished Samhain altar, and as I mentioned in kind of the intro, it isn't what someone would probably necessarily say is a Samhain altar, mainly because it contains so much Halloween stuff, but I love Halloween so much, it's essentially my entire lifestyle, so Halloween had to be included. So the basis of this altar is actually super duper simple, probably way more simple than any of my other altars have been so far. But there are a lot more candles so I'm not going to be able to like reach over and touch things like I usually would. So the first thing first is the altar cloth. Now this is another one of the altar cloths that I spoke about a couple weeks ago, so I will have a link for these down in the description box. It's not affiliated or anything, I just think they're really, really nice. So this one is the pumpkin orange one, and I have been saving this all year, just so that I can use it on this one altar, and it looks amazing. I can't get over how good it looks. I love orange as a colour, my nails are orange as well, so I just absolutely think it looks amazing and I'm chuffed with it. And these altar cloths are actually big enough to go over two tables, so this is actually two small um, coffee tables that are kind of stacked. So the small one's pushed slightly underneath the big one so it's more stable. So it does go over two tables which is fantastic. So I have the orange altar cloth. At the very back I have a wooden disc because if you guys have seen any of my other videos I really like um, using wood on altars so I do have a wooden disc which is what is underneath my white Himalayan salt lamp and this one is a colour changing variety I absolutely love this version and as you guys know it's always on my altar and it's always in this corner because that is where the power is so it has to be there. So I absolutely love it, mainly just because it's so calming and soothing, especially when the lights are dipped down low. This looks amazing, so I love having it here, and I think it, I think it just adds extra colour to an altar, because some of them are not as colourful as this one. Some of my altars can be quite drab, especially when I'm using like black altar cloths, it can get a little bit kind of dreary, so having that is a really, really nice addition. Over this side, I have my Pentacle Cast Iron Cauldron. Now this is the same one that was on my Mabon altar, it's the one with the wonky leg. And this time it's on the altar, not so much to represent Samhain, but just to represent kind of witchcraft, the occult, and Halloween, essentially, is why it's on the altar this time. I love the symbolism and the connection between witches and cauldrons, and I just think it's so cool. I've always been obsessed with Halloween, and cauldrons are like the epitome of Halloween representation. So the cauldron is on this altar. There's no incense burning in it this time. There's nothing burning inside. It's just there as representation for the holiday and the festivities. In the middle, I have a vintage Halloween pumpkin. And my parents, they don't really much do Halloween. Like I was always the one that was obsessed with Halloween and had to put up a bunch of decorations. My parents, they never really care that much about Halloween. They much prefer Christmas. So, Every year I kidnap their Halloween decorations and I have them in my house. So this year we have the orange ceramic Halloween pumpkin that is probably about 20 years old. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. So this is like the centerpiece of the altar this time. I just love jack-o'-lanterns, I love pumpkins, and I don't typically carve them myself anymore, mainly because I can't deal with the mess that they make, but I love the symbolism and I love having them there and the idea of them um, deterring away negative spirits. And the, the entire original concept of jack-o'-lanterns is just so brilliant. And if you don't know any of the history of jack-o'-lanterns, I might actually try to do a video on it, that would be really cool. If not, you can look up um, the kind of history of jack-o'-lanterns. It's well, well worth looking into because it's fabulous. And I love having it on this altar just because it makes it just feel so cozy and spooky and Halloween-y, which I love completely. So then next we have the little pumpkins. Now once again, these are vintage decorations for my parents' house. I have no idea where they came from, but they're, they're just so cute. Little tiny plastic pumpkins, admittedly, but they're still really, really cute. And this is more connecting to Samhain. Samhain is the last of the three harvest festivals. So you have Lamas, Mabon, and then Samhain. 
And at Samhain is the time when you really get the pumpkins and the gourds, and so I wanted to include them on this altar. They aren't as Halloween-y as the big jack-o'-lantern, but they are just more samhain -y, and I like the fact that I can add that into the altar. Of course, I would prefer if they were real and not plastic, but for the moment, they are going to have to be plastic. But I do think they make a really, really nice addition. Next is this beautiful candle over here. This is a witch candle that I got from TK Maxx this year. Um, I'm, a, I'm a Halloween hoarder, let's put it that way. And I could not resist getting this candle. It is a beautiful scented candle. I think it smells like witch's brew. I might be wrong. And it has a beautiful witch riding a broomstick on the front. And as much as I hate like the stereotypical witch symbolism, um, I'm still a sucker for it because I love Halloween. So I wanted to add this in. One, because I was burning it already every single night. Two, because it's Halloween. And three, because I think Samhain is really the time when we start burning more candles. And that's why I have so many candles and candle objects on this altar in particular. It's because Samhain is the start of the darker season. It's when everything starts turning and becoming so much darker and colder. And so candles are a real staple for that. And so candles, the more the better, but also the witch for Halloween because I'm Halloween obsessed. <laughs> So all the way over here, kind of hidden away, is one of my skull candles. Now I have many skull candles, most of which uh, we make ourselves. This one is one I got from H&M probably about five years ago now, and it's just become a staple in my Halloween collection. So this is the skull that's on this altar, and it will stay on this altar till Yule. So it's been on my altar since Lamas as this kind of darker energy starts coming into the year and it will stay till Yule and then when it comes to Yule uh, the skull will <laughs> will be gone so I'm making the most of the skull being here for now it's more of a statue a representation of the people that have gone before us because Samhain is a great time to connect with the energies of ancestors and to work with them and the skull kind of represents them and the people that have gone before then have a little copper dish um, with another tea light in it. I love copper, it's my favorite metal, and so all of my offering dishes are copper, and I absolutely love them. This one just has a tea light in it to kind of balance out the altar a little bit. I like balance, um, so that's why that's there, honestly, main reason. So I then have a few crystals, all of which are black. Now, they are less connected with Samhain and more just because I thought the black would contrast the orange. And that's really why at the start of the video I mentioned that it was kind of less of a traditional Samhain altar and more of a Halloween Samhain crossover. Because in the video that I did last year about Samhain, which I will link up in the card if anyone's interested, um, there are specific Samhain crystals, and although I would typically use them on this altar, I thought that the black contrast would really, really help. So we have um, two pieces of black tourmaline. We have a blue goldstone, which is actually so dark it's almost black. We have um, a piece of obsidian and then two pieces of black argate. So just as a real kind of contrast to the orange altar cloth. And then lastly, I have two remaining pieces down here. As always, my um, amethyst aura heart is on the altar. It lives on this altar and is always here, much like the um, Himalayan salt lamp. And then I've also switched out my incense burner. So this is my darker wood burner, so it's not quite as pale as the other one. And inside there is patchouli forest incense burning. I love patchouli and I think it's great at this time of year because it's very woody and it's dark and mysterious and it really reminds me of this kind of intermediary time of the year where it's not quite the middle of winter yet but it is starting to get there. So you get the woody scents from like Samhain and you will till about in bulk and so this is just like the perfect incense so I'm not really sure which brand this is but it's just the patchouli patchouli wood or patchouli forest incense and it's just so perfect at Samhain. So yeah that is the finished altar definitely not quite as traditional as the Sabbath altars I usually do but this is probably my favorite altar simply because I love Halloween and this is so so fitting. 
So I'll leave you with a little bit of a time lapse so you can kind of see the altar from a different perspective. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. It really, really means so much to me. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. That really, really means so much. If you want to see more videos like this, I do have a Sabbath series, which is a playlist on this channel that I will link at the end of the video so that you guys can click through all of my other altars that I have done in the past 12 months. If you do have any questions, comments, concerns, video ideas, or just want to chit chat with the community down in the comment section, feel free to post a comment. And if you do enjoy the magical content on this video or on this channel, feel free to hit subscribe. I do try my best to post magical content every Wednesday and every Saturday at 6pm, so hopefully I will see you guys in another video. So I hope you have a marvellous magical day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!